Hey guys, what's up? And welcome to another episode of Divas, Divas Getting Raw, episode, episode seven. Number seven. That's right. Seven. We are your hosts. I'm Lauren, aka Luge, and I'm Cassie, aka Legacy Chick. And we're going to tell you what's going on this weekend, on Sunday. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to be going to Staten Island. It's called the Dugout Pub. Pub. It's in Staten mm -hmm. Island. It's 1614 Forest, Forest Avenue. Avenue. They're going to have a uh, 10 flat screen TV, surround sound. Amazing. I mean, it's going to be everywhere. And, and you know what we're going to watch? And you know what we're going to watch there? WrestleMania 27. That's right, guys. Amazing. So we're also going to put it in the info below so you can check it out if you guys are in the New York area, Staten Island, Brooklyn, Queens, anywhere. Come with us. Come. Chill. And you know what? There are going to be wrestlers there. There's going to be, oh my God. Exactly. I know. It's be awesome. Yeah, no, definitely check it if out. If you're not there, if you're, you're not there, out, you're guys. missing out. And also, you're missing out Plus, on watching the greatest event of it's, all. It's also a $20 cover charge, just so you know. But, but that, it's worth it. That covers everything, like, you know. It covers the... Uh, you don't have to pay for the pay-per-view, you know. It's $100, like, yeah. $100, right? That's it. Yeah. So, or more it, it's a good deal, guys. It is. And plus, you get to chill with us. Definitely come. But anyways, let's get right into this week's episode. Yes. <laughs> okay. Monday Night Raw, you know, is in Chicago. Shot town. And uh, Raw, kiss, uh, Raw kicks off with CM Punk sitting in the middle of the ring. And you yeah. know what? CM Punk uh, is in his hometown. Chicago is in his hometown. So he's like sitting in the middle of the ring and thinking that he's going to love his fans so much because he's from Chicago. But no, he basically says that he doesn't give a crap about you. Go get me coffee. Yeah, go get him coffee. And also his problem is Randy Orton, of course, because of the few that they're going to have. WrestleMania 27 It's going to be sick and twisted, like he says. And basically he's going to just close the sick and twisted chapter on Randy Orton come WrestleMania 27. Then all of a sudden, Randy Orton comes out. But you know what? Randy Orton is wounded. Yeah, He's from wounded week. from last week. Because CM Punk hitting Randy Orton in the knee with a monkey wrench. Oh, terrible. So basically taking out his knee. Randy Orton, you know, he's a trooper. He comes down he's come, uh, down to the ring, you know, try and attacks CM Punk. But, you know, he tries. But CM Punk is prevailing because Randy Orton is wounded. And he, it's very hard for him to fight back. And Randy Orton tries to punt. CM Punk. No dice. And no. He runs, but gets halfway, falls down. Yeah. So, basically, uh, it's, it really sucks that CM Punk hit Randy Orton with the GTS. But next but next week, I'm saying next week. But next this week. Sunday's WrestleMania, this Sunday's so Red they'll, we'll have their, uh, they'll have the chance. We'll see who wins in that. Next up, we have Edge and Christian. Edge and Christian. Edge and Christian. Oh, from the Attitude Era. You know, we they haven't teamed up in over six years. I can't wait. Oh, this was really exciting, too to see them, and, you know, this is actually SmackDown's issue, so, mm -hmm. like, SmackDown is bringing, uh, you know, is coming into Raw, so, we have Edge and Christian versus Alberto Del Rio and Baronis Clay, so it's a, it's a tag team, it's a tag team match, and this was an interesting match, and I, I liked it a lot, and there was a spear, spear, spear from Edge to Brodus Clay by uh, for yeah, the win. For the win, Edge and yeah, Edge and Christian picked up the win because of Edge's spear, spear, yep. spear. Oh, it was cool. I love Edge. I love props to uh, Edge and Christian. Miss you guys. Um, then up, then up next, Michael Cole receives an email from the anonymous general manager on his iPad. <laughs> On his iPad, ladies and gentlemen, on his iPad. Ooh, excuse me. So the general manager says that Lawler will face Jack Swagger later on the night to see if he's ready for yeah. his WrestleMania match, you know, against Michael Cole or Jack Swagger, you know, come Sunday. So, and you know, it's interesting, like, during the commercial uh, break, I saw that Miz tweeted the pic he took of the WWE logo up, upside, upside down. down yeah. You know, backstage, you know, um, Miz was just admiring the WWE logo upside down because he's the Miz, so he took a picture of that and he tweeted it. I thought that was pretty funny, so he tweeted that yeah. during the commercial break. Um, and then next up we have is the core, the core versus Kane... Uh, Santino Marella, Big Show, and Vladimir Kozlov. And actually, a new match, you know, that's going to be a new match added uh, to WrestleMania 27. Right. So, because in this match, it was just Justin Gabriel versus yeah, Santino. Yeah, yeah, my bad. So, yeah, at, uh, so at WrestleMania 27, it's The Core versus Kane, Big Show, yeah. Santino Mar uh, Marella, and Vladimir Kozlov. So, yeah, this match is uh, Justin Gabriel versus Santino Marella. Uh, everyone on the outside uh, of the ring, you know, while the while the match was going on, you know, all the uh, all like Kane, uh, Big Show, 
Kozlov and also the rest of the core members were around the ring and they were getting involved because yeah, they were all involved. like fighting each other on the outside of the ring while Gabriel and Santino were having their their match inside. But Santino he picked up the win and what was he was doing? But the Cobra. Yep. <laughs> and then they all celebrated at the they end. We all celebrated, and, and you know what's a big show. And you know what? And you know, yeah, the celebration was doing the trumpet. What is the trumpet dance like this? Yeah, with the trumpet. And you know, it was hilarious. yeah, and Kane, Kane did the trumpet Kane dance. Did, yeah, you know, yeah. out of all people, Kane did the trumpet dance. But that was like awesome yeah. of him. Yeah. So we have the next up is the Undertaker and Triple, Triple H. H. They, they came down. They, they stare down. down like they every came week, face like. to face, staring each other down. It's career versus streak, Lauren. Yeah. What are we supposed to say? To build it up. To build it up. And then all of a sudden, no, uh, none other, HBK Shawn Michaels comes out. OMG. Sexy boy. <laughs> OMG. You know, he comes out saying that, you know, he was never the same again after he faced Undertaker. And right. because he lost last year, um, he lost last year to Undertaker at WrestleMania 26. And, you know, he gave it his all. He tried, and then, and what really was a low blow was that HBK said to Triple H, I don't think you're going to beat The Undertaker. Yeah, well, what makes you Whoa. think that you can do it if I could I couldn't. Yeah. Nuts, nuts. What, that is crazy, because, you know, Triple H is HBK's best friend. Yeah. And then, you're, you know, your best friend saying, you know, you don't think it, uh, I can yeah. do it. Yeah, you don't think you tough. can do it. That was tough. T tough to swallow. You know, yeah, and it just, what in the world? So I don't, I don't understand. But you know what? We got to wait and see. But it was really nice to see HBK coming definitely, out. And definitely. I felt like it was a true moment. He's like, you don't know what you're getting yourself into, Triple H, when you're bursting the Undertaker. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... But you know what? You know what the most important thing is? Undertaker and Triple H, they respect they each other. They respect. They respect. -E for sure. Like, they, they said it back and forth to each other. They so. respect each other. And if Undertaker, you know, was to ever go down, he would pick Triple H to go right. over him. But Undertaker's not, not, not ready. It's not his time. It's not his time to go down. And that said. was nuts. And it was, it was awesome. I loved it. So, um, after that is, uh, the... Swagger versus the King. Swagger versus the King. Oh, my God. So... Which, it was interesting. <laughs> it was interesting. Yeah, I know. It was a lot. It, it was just a lot of, what, ankle breaking? You know, yeah, what was I mean, it? the King got disqualified for hitting, uh, Swagger with the chair. Yeah, exactly. So, so yeah, Laura, yeah, he did. Yeah, Laura got then, disqualified. Uh, mm -hmm. Cole throws... A cup of soda, I guess. Yeah, in, in because you know what? Lawler tried to get in the coal mine. So he like, he was like trying to get a climb yeah, up the coal mine. Then all of a sudden, Michael Cole just took his soda and just threw it on Jerry Lawler's face. Wait Disrespect. till WrestleMania. Wait till Cole WrestleMania. Said. Yeah, wait till WrestleMania. But you know what, Cole? You wait till WrestleMania because yeah. Jerry Lawler's going to kick you your ass. You can't be hiding in your mole, you know? your mole cave. Your yeah, coal your mine. coal mine. Yeah, I know. Come mine. out, come out, Michael Cole. Exactly. <laughs> so, and then, what was it? We have uh, Vicky Guerrero. You know, Vic, uh, Vicky Guerrero uh, comes out, and he and uh, Vicky Guerrero is like imitates John Morrison's like entrance move, like in slow, like, yeah, in slow motion. Yeah, Vicky Guerrero tries to be sexy but fails. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, what was it? We, we have that. We have that match. Oh no, no, no! Vicky Guerrero uh, gets in the ring. She addresses Snooki. Yeah. She addresses Snooki that. She is, uh, that she was going to get you, that, yeah, Vicky yeah. is going to get Snooki come WrestleMania 27, that she better watch out, but I don't think Snooki's scared of Vicky, please. Mm -hmm. Who would be scared of a cougar? <laughs> but no, 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 no. So, uh, what was it? Um, Dolph comes, uh, Dolph Ziggler comes out, Sheamus, uh, comes out, Daniel Bryan, and, and John, John Morrison. Morrison, you know, John Morrison comes out. And then we have a match, which is John Morrison, Daniel Bryan, Versus Dolph Ziggler and Sheamus. Sheamus. So we have like a tag team match. And I thought this was a very interesting match. I liked it, but you know, it's, it was pretty short. But it wasn't a title match. It, it wasn't was a title match. match. Yeah, it was just a regular match. So um, what was it? Sheamus, Dolph Ziggler picked up the win. Because what was it? I think Sheamus uh, kicked. Uh, who did he kick? Joe oh, Morrison? No, no, no da Daniel Bryan. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, but uh, Sheamus pinned uh, Daniel Bryan. Uh, but Sheamus pinned uh, Daniel Bryan. I think he got kicked. Right, guys? I don't know. I think... Mm. Was it Sheamus versus... Uh, I don't know. Oops. Sorry, guys. No, I believe so. <laughs> I know. My notes are a little bit messed up, but... Yeah, no, only because, because that it was because a really the next thing that happened, we the got really thing, excited. So yeah. I was like, we were too busy watching it than taking notes. That's yeah. why, you know? Mm -hmm. It happens, guys. Definitely. Happens. Please forgive us. <laughs> and you well, guys correct us, though, in the comments. Leave um, how, how Seamus won. Yes. How Seamus and Dolph won. How Seamus and, and Dolph won. I know Seamus got the win. I, I believe he kicked Daniel him. Daniel Bryan or John Morrison? No, no, it was... No, uh, I think Seamus got the win by pinning Daniel Bryan, but I don't know. <laughs> but... <laughs> 
All right, anyway, moving on. <laughs> Lauren got her in. All right, so and then after that, Randy Orton backstage, you know, he's looking hurt, he's looking pissed because, you know, he's hurt, and then saying that he never, ever despised anyone like CM, CM Punk. Punk. Yeah. Uh, it was nuts. You know, you see that the Viper look in his eyes that he will get CM Punk, he will pay him back on WrestleMania 27. It was really, it was really crazy. Oh, and Lauren, you know, I want to say congrats to the Road Warriors because they've been inducted to the Hall of yes. Fame. You know, uh, what was it back then? You know, they were a great tag team. Oh, yeah, I the what a well, rush. Like the paint on their face. Oh, what a rush. Yeah, that was their no. They were known for their, oh, what a rush. And they, they were sick looking. I like yeah. that. You know, I like that old costume thing. Congratulations, Road yeah, Warriors. Congratulations, you guys. And then, what was it next up? We have uh, Snooki. Trish and Lay Cool, they're in a bar, you know, like they're, they're fist pumping. No, yeah, they're not. Yeah, yeah. yeah, no, they're like they're at the Jersey Shore bar, you know, they're at the Jersey Shore, they're having drinks, and all of a sudden Lay Cool comes up to Trish and Snooki. He's like, then all of a sudden there's a bar brawl, Jersey Shore style. On the pool know, table, on the pool table, on the, floor, on the floor, and it was like curse beep beep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like Jersey Shore style, it was really, really funny, basically building up um, for the match at WrestleMania yeah. 27. Thought it was pretty funny. Then all of a sudden, The Rock, The Rock, the great it's one, that you, you just smell, smell. Yeah, we smell <laughs> what The Rock is cooking, finally is returned to shot down. So, uh, what was it? He competed, he actually, The Rock competed his first ever WrestleMania in Chicago. Yes, is that interesting? Said. I don't know what WrestleMania uh, that is, guys, so maybe you should write that on the comment box. On the comment yeah, box. What WrestleMania which, he, yeah, yeah, which he WrestleMania made he made and... his appearance at Chicago, his first ever appearance. I would like to know. Mm -hmm. That I didn't look up. So, you know, um, John Cena, he comes out, and I love and I love how The Rock calls him a homeless Power Ranger. <laughs> I, I had her, like, write that down. John Cena is a homeless Power Ranger, people. <laughs> Because of what um, his clothes wear, and he, he does look like a Power Ranger. He's very <laughs> colorful. <laughs> so uh, I thought it was really, really funny. So um, John Cena basically says this is what he wanted. This is what he wants, like a feud with The Rock. You know, The Rock is you know talking trash to him, and John Cena is telling him, "Who are you to judge?" Who are you? Yeah, I appeal to kids, but who are you to judge to that? You know, I think it's a good, uh, it's a good thing who I appeal to. I think it's a good thing. And then you know, The Rock is like the only, the only person that judges is the Good Lord himself. But the Good Lord himself is not going to help him come WrestleMania. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So. You know, I think, uh, you know, The Rock, John Cena, they have some things in common. You know, they uh, they both... Plus, John know, Cena is a fan of The Rock. He was saying, I was one of the millions. He was one know? of the millions and millions, and... And he looks up to him, and he does have respect for The Rock. He does have respect for The Rock, I mean, The Miz, when The Miz came out... Oh, forget he, it. He was just trash-talking the whole time. And exactly. Like any respect for The Rock. But also, I don't think... John Cena doesn't want to become, um, become a part of Team Brigitte, because yeah. if this is what... If this is what he has to be by judging people, then he doesn't want to be a part of Team Brigitte. Yeah. Okay, whatever. So, yeah, and then, then when next up, what, The Miz, Miz comes Miz. out. Yeah. And, you know, honestly, honestly, Lauren, I really like how The Miz is stepping up to The Rock. That's crazy. No one really ever <laughs> stepped up to The Rock like that. I really like that The, that that the Miz. Yeah, no, that really is. So, like, it's really, really bad. Uh, it's, and, well, it's bad in a good way. The Miz is really funny. He comes out with Alex Riley. So, like, he's a really, <laughs> I like when he says he's really being upstaged by the two O's. What was it? Uh, one is overrated and overhyped. Overrated is John Cena and overhyped is The Rock. So he's being upstaged by the two O's. <laughs> That's really funny. And he will take them both down come WrestleMania 27. You know, I want to see if The Miz will really do that. Will he really take down both John Cena yeah. and The Rock? We'll see. If he does, that he will go down in WWE history. But we'll see. We'll see. And, you know, uh, The Rock tells Miz that it doesn't matter what he thinks. <laughs> it doesn't matter what he, or what he thinks. And uh, Mike and um, Alex Riley, after that, beat down on The Rock. Yeah, double team on The Rock. Double team on The Rock. But, you know what? The Rock fights back. Rock you know, of course, he, you know, f uh, he fights back. And you know what he does on The Miz? He does the people's elbow. <laughs> Boom. And that's it. Oh, my God. But then... Yeah, but then after, when The Rock does the people's elbow on The Miz, John Cena gets back in the ring, does the attitude adjustment on The Rock, Blind and then you have blindsides the, the Rock by the attitude adjustment, and just stands in the middle ring saying, you can't see me. Yeah, okay, Rock. Um, John Cena. 
Yep, and that's how it ended. That's how it ended. So, a couple more days and we got WrestleMania. WrestleMania 27, guys. I'm excited, and I really hope you come to the Dugout Pub. Yeah, definitely, guys. Dugout Pub, Sten Island. Many wrestlers will be there. Please come. We'll be there. Shout out. Watching. Shout out. I want to give a shout out to uh, the Dugout Pub. Shout out to the Dugout Pub. Shout out to the Dugout Pub. Shout Thanks, out. guys, for Thank watching. Thank you. See you guys soon. Have a great weekend.